up everybody it's your boy coming back at y'all with another video I know I ain't hit y'all off with a video in a couple days now I have some things I need to take care of but anyway I'm back at y'all and in this video I want to talk about Njoku trade rumors and I want to get down to the trying to figure out why everybody seems to be pushing for this guy I know this is a lot of videos talking about this trade guys saying why well, we need to bring him in and all this kind of stuff and my thing is this a lot of y'all Y'all say y'all don't want to give up draft capital for certain players. So I'm trying to figure out why y'all trying to give up draft capital for this player. Yeah, he's good in what he does. But that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to give up draft stock. We're going to have to pay this man wild money. At the end of the day, if you look at the stats, we got a player on our team right now. We're pretty much running neck and neck with this guy with almost identical stats. We already got this him on our team. But just another guy. So why do we need to go out there and spend more money and give up draft for him? Just make that make sense to me. You know what I'm, at the end of the day, just make it make sense to me, please. I'm asking. Let me know down in the comments. Please, please comment and tell me why we need this guy so bad. And um, I want to talk about another thing. I noticed now, after I put that video out, I see a lot of people talk about one of the wide receivers I was mentioning who wasn't being talked about. Now he's being talked about. Now I'm not saying it's because of me or anything like that. But I'm just saying, no. Before I put out that video, I ain't hear nobody talking about the ball. But it is what it is. I'm glad to see the information is getting out there. And even though ain't nobody want to say, hey, shout out to the ball for putting me on to him. It's all good. It's whatever. <laughs> but anyway, uh, another player I want to talk about is Trevor Williams. Everybody, he seems to still be the forgotten man on our team. They talk, everybody keeps, every time they talk about how we got um, Mills going to safety and Slay on the opposite side, everybody always jump to say Avante Maddox, little, Avante Maddox little ass is going to be playing on the other side of him, which I don't understand. Avante had one solid year, his rookie year, and since then he's been playing like shit. He's, been, he's done got beaten with a double move just as bad or worse as Jalen Mills has. So, why y'all pushing for him to be outside? Because he's fast, he got a little speed. But come on, man. At the end of the day, he's a good nickel. But now we got a whole lot of nickel guys. The only other outside, the only other outside corners that we have are Sidney Jones, Russell Douglas, and Trevor Williams. But out of those three guys, the top guy is Trevor Williams. He's already proven. He's proven. He's proven to be a, a solid cornerback number two. He's already proved it. Now, do I want Sidney Jones to succeed and, and live up to his first-round talent? Of course I do, because he's on our team. Of course I want him to. But at this point in time, with all those injuries he keeps having, man, maybe he's better to come off the bench like he did last season. When he came off the bench in the latest stretch of our season, he made solid plays for us. That's that, like... I'll never take that away from the young boy. But facts is facts. You know what I mean? Every time he was a starter, he didn't play so well. But whenever he came off the bench, boom, the boy was, I don't know. Some play, some guys work like that. Just look at Nick Foles. He never was, when he was the, the guy in the beginning of the season, he always sucked. But whenever he wasn't the guy and then he came back, like came off the bench, he was always playing magnificent. He did it when Mike Vick was here. When Mike Vick was here, Mike Vick was the starter, he got hurt, Nick Foles came in, went on that crazy run. Then the following season, Nick Foles was the starter, he sucked dick. When then we dropped, then we ended up getting rid of him. Now look, then he's then it went once again. Carson Wentz is here. Carson Wentz go down. Nick Foles come in, hmm, take us to the Super Bowl. And win it. The following season, Nick Foles, Carson still hurt. Nick Foles the starter. He sucked dick. Come on. But when he came off that bench again, we went to the playoff. We went to the playoffs. I mean, that's just how it works. Some guys work like that. Some guys just need to come off of the bench. They get a little fire underneath that. They get a little extra fire underneath their ass. They play a little better. Maybe that's what we need with Sydney. But anyway, when it comes down to Trevor Williams, Trevor Williams, who we had signed from the Chargers at the end of last, at, at the end of last season, he's already proven. In 2017, once again, in 2017, he was a he was a what a top ten a top ten corner. At, at CB2 at a cornerback number two like so why y'all keep talking about Avante Maddox I just want to know what have Avante Maddox really done 
you know, granted, when Avante came off the bench that one season and was a fucking rookie, he was running around like a his hair was on fire. And then after that, we, he, we haven't really seen that kind of consistent play from him since then. So why y'all pushing for him? Make that make sense to me. Comment down below and make that make sense to me. All right. Rasul Douglas. I know I put him in there as, a, as on the outside corner. You know why I did that? Because he got length. He got size. Now, if he's play, now if we play to his strengths, which is a, a physical press corner, he play, he'll, he'll play better. But he, he's not, he, don't, he don't have it like, I, I get y'all like, oh, he's slow. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. If he gets his hands on the guy at the line, the quarterback ain't going to have time to throw it to his guy anyway because he'll be getting sacks. I'm sorry to say it. <laughs> no, but anyway, I just want to know why Trevor Williams is going on un, un, talked about on none of these channels. Please make, please, you know, put this, share this video, like this video, get this video out there. So, so some of these other Eagles channels, I want to see more guys focusing on the, the, the hitting guy we have right now on our team that can come in and play solid for us at cornerback number two. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to, I want to go in, I want to go into more details about the draft, but I'm going to do that in another video. I got some things I need to take care of. Salute. Y'all guys stay easy. Later.